back, callers. This is Dennis Postema, and I'm honored here to be with one of my uh, hopefully one day mentors, and he is a mentor through his books already, David Essel. He's the number one best selling author of 10 books, uh, counselor, master life coach, international speaker, radio host, whose mission is to positively affect 2 million people or more every day, which I believe you do with David's Daily, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and uh, celebrity Jenny McCarthy says that David Essel is the new leader of the positive thinking movement. David's uh, work of over 38 years is highly endorsed by Wayne Dyer, which, what's an honor, you know, the late Wayne Dyer. Chicken Soup for the Soul author Victor, or Mark Victor Hansen, as well as many other celebrities. Um, he's a verified through Psychology Today as one of the best counselors and life coaches in the USA and verified relationship expert with marriage.com. David accepts new clients around the world every week and works with them to achieve their goals via phone, Skype, everything else. and. I just want to say, from my testimony, um, David, the best thing about you is you're, you have the guts to talk about things that just most performance coaches, most motivational people will not talk about. I love that about you. I love David Daly, and you can get it that at talkdavid.com. Um, so that's what I love about you. Uh, everything but politics, I know. <laughs> so you probably could give it to I got us. So. Welcome, David, to the show, the Shot Callers Magazine. It's an honor to have you here. Oh, Dennis, this is so great. It's just, it's awesome. And, and you know, one of the things that we talk to all entrepreneurs with is something you just said. If, and, and, and I've got a short story I'll tell you of how I broke out of my own role that wasn't all that great for a number of years. But, you, you know, as entrepreneurs, business owners, go-getters, we've got to do things differently, man. You know, it's like when we follow mass consciousness, and I don't care who it is, if it isn't working at the level that it worked for that person or their followers, it doesn't mean they're wrong. It just means it doesn't work for you. And you got to jump onto that as soon as you see it not working. And you've got to really get creative and find your own path. You know, Dennis, from 1980, when I started 40 years ago in this, in this industry, until 1996, my first 16 years, I tell everyone in all honesty, I was a parrot. You know, I was looking at my gurus and whatever they said, I would just regurgitate, right? Right, exactly. And, and that's how a lot of us get our start. But it, it, what I did was I played it way too safe. And so I just stayed behind the gurus and Wayne Dyer, who, the late Wayne Dyer, who had a huge impact on my existence, or Ram Dass or Deepak Chopra or Susie Orman or any of these people that I've interviewed multiple, multiple times. You know, when, when they would come out with something and I thought it was great, I'd be promoting it. And, then, and, and that's fine to a degree, but I carried it too far, Dennis, because I didn't have my own voice in it. And as entrepreneurs, if we don't have a voice that separates us from the person next door doing the same thing and the person, if we don't have a twist, if we don't have something unique and different, we're never going to reach the highest level of of, of um uh, of the success that we're looking for. And in 1996, my mind was blown with an interview with one of the most brilliant individuals that used to walk this earth. He's the founder of Transcendental Meditation, okay. uh, one of the most powerful forms of meditation on the market. And his name was Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. And during the interview, he exposed me in this most gentle, beautiful way. We were off air and he made a comment about, you know, how much I loved affirmations and positive thinking and even the law of attraction back in 1996 was around. And he said, does it work for you? And Dennis, the answer was really no. I was just repeating what all these gurus said. But I told him, yes. I go, yes, it's working for me. He goes, okay, then go ahead. Well, three weeks later, I woke up realizing that I was lying. Yeah. And in that moment, I decided that I had to bring out the real David Essel. And the real David Essel is very different than the David Essel that follows people's words, you know. And, and just like with the strength training uh, thing that you and I talked about before we, we started recording. And, and you know, my, my, my rail against the secret and the law of attraction. You know, we are, we're, we're out there saying that stuff is not valid. Um, and it takes a very strong, confident person, and I'm not patting myself on the back because it took me a long time to get here, to be able to call out programs that aren't effective as right. long as we have a solution, Dennis, that is effective. So it doesn't make sense to tear something down if you don't have something to put in its place. 
Tell me why. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 You know, and so we say, hey, listen, there's a million programs out there and David Essel's programs is going to work for two million people or or, or now nah, let's say six billion. But there's still a billion dentists that my program may not work for. <laughs> yeah. So we go. <laughs> you know, here we go. Hey, listen, go find someone who's unique, who's different. If, if my program doesn't work, go find someone different. And, and, you know, what you guys do with all the work that you're doing is that you're exposing the reality that I just talked about. People that are really making a difference have put their own stamp, their own unique mark on their work, right? Yeah, absolutely. And very humble of you to say, because really, what you're saying is is the, the beauty of people in this industry who actually care about people. And I got to tell you, that's the one thing I love about every one of your messages. The other day, the Daily Boost about dying and things like that. You know, the thing about it is, is you care and you're sincere about it. All you care about is making sure that somebody takes a program and actually does it, you know, because that's the key. Take a program, stick with it. It may not be my program, it may not be somebody else's program, but there's a program out there that if you stick with it, you're going to change your life. Okay, so, you know, Dennis, what you just said is absolutely 100% correct. When We have 16 different programs that we do. We, we do everything from financial freedom now to peak performance for men, peak performance for women, weight loss, addiction recovery. And, and what we say when we bring people into the course is, if you're going to take my course, if you're going to take anyone's course, do it exactly 110% as it's presented. Choose. So if you're going to do the keto diet, don't pick part of the keto diet you like because the other part is too difficult. You know, you've, you've got to apply yourself 100%. And it's the same thing with, you know, any, any example I could give. When you're taking my programs, when you're taking anyone else's in the world, do not make a decision that you're only going to do those things that fit your personality or your um, astrology type, right? It's right. like, you know, Virgos don't do this part of the program. You know, That's like, how we got here, right? <laughs> I, I know. I, our personality. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, you, Dennis, you've got, and you know this from your work, you've got to go and attack 110%. If you hold back a little bit because you're afraid you might fail, you feel afraid you might get critiqued by friends or family, you're afraid you might get criticized, you, might, you know, if you're holding back, you'll never really know the highest level you can reach with your money, your body, relationships, recovery, whatever the goal is. So now, once you put 110% into someone else's program and you don't alter it to your likes, you will find out within easily four to six months if it's the program for you. Right. If it isn't, change trains, find a new teacher, and follow their program, and eventually you're going to do fantastic, but you're going to have to apply 110%. I love that because it's like marketing. No marketing ever fails because if you tried it and it doesn't work, you know what? At least you know not to try it again, right? <laughs> exactly. And I love that you talk about comfort zone because really comfort zone is a big thing. And I always ask people that work with me, if you're not get, what have you done outside of your comfort zone this week? And if you're not doing anything out of your comfort zone, you're not going to reach the levels that you want to. And I know you're big on that and you talk about that during all your programs. Um, so. Right. I, I love that you bring that up. So yeah, hey Dennis, let me tell you an awesome story. And 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 we re the story is so powerful about doing the uncomfortable is what you're saying. You know, do the uncomfortable on a daily basis. The story is so powerful. We we first put it in our book. Uh, uh, no, positive thinking will never change your life, but this book will. And and then we got such a respect. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love Big it. Man, like I said, so. <laughs> so cool. And, and that book got, or that the story got such a strong response when we did the follow up to a positive thinking, which is called Focus, Slay That's Your Goals. <laughs> I think. That one up too. Like I said, big <laughs> so, sorry, David, I don't mean to cut you off. Just excited. No, it's, it's awesome, Dennis. I'm having a blast with you. Um, but there's a guy, a friend of mine named Ray Higdon. Uh, if, if anyone is watching us and you're in the network marketing industry, you know Ray, Ray Higna's name. He, he is just an amazing individual. But around 19 or 2009, when we had the big economic crash in the country, uh, he contacted me and he said, hey, listen, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a single dad. I got two kids. I, I'm losing my house. Uh, I invested all this money in the real estate market. I am flat broke and it's getting worse every day. Would you meet with me? 
And I said, absolutely. And he goes, the only problem is I, I don't have any money and, and could we meet for lunch? <laughs> I said, sure. So we met, you know, I bought him lunch at the hour. I just said, Ray, I got to be honest with you. You have such great energy, even in your fear, confusion. You know, right now what you're going through, your energy is just so awesome. So what I'm going to recommend is this. Go find something to sell that you really are passionate about and you will be on your feet within six months to a year but you're gonna have to really work your butt off. And so we had a great session, Dennis, and then you know he leaves and, and on the way home, someone had contacted him and told him about the book, The Secret. So he was thinking about what I had said and he went and got the book and for 30 days, he made his vision boards. He said the affirmations, I am a millionaire, you know, all the crap they tell you to teach that does not work, ladies and gentlemen, it does not work. Um, you know, I mean, if it does work, it's called a miracle. Okay, so yeah, if, right. you, if you create a vision board and it has your home in Bali and the next day you own a home in Bali, that's probably a miracle. So- You're missing unless, steps there, right? <laughs> Afterwards. Yeah, 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 missing like five years, 10,000 steps, right? It's like, come on now. So he tried it for 30 days and his, his situation got 100 times worse. You know, he sat in his house and he, he visualized and he affirmed as bored and it got worse. So then he went out and looked for something to sell and he found a product and he started contacting people. It was a network marketing product and he started contacting people and he was getting rejections and, and he was about to give up. And then one guy in the network marketing business said to him, if you want to be successful, here's the formula. Go after 20 no's a day. Don't stop contacting people until you've had 20 rejections. Now, you can imagine, Dennis, the first race said, now that's sick, you know, yeah. that's insane. Who the hell wants to get rejected 20 times a day? Right. But he did it. This is the most powerful thing in the world. He went from foreclosure, no money whatsoever, that in the first year, he started making $50,000 a month. Wow. Year one. About year three or four, he was up to a million dollars a month, which is where he is today. Wow. Now, that story documents the importance that when you want to reach for really high goals with your body, money, recovery, relationship, career, whatever it is, and if you're not, you know, the higher the goal, the higher the complicated steps will be at first, the more difficult the steps will be at first, yep. you know, but... But if you really want to see a massive change in your income, your market reach, your client base, whatever, you've got to pull yourself back and it's probably best to work with someone. Right. You know, they, you know they, they can give you some unbiased opinions, unbiased counseling, unbiased coaching, right? Work with someone and try to find out where are my holes? What am I afraid of doing? You know, is it the prospect that I'm afraid of? Is it, is it paying for ads on social media that I get nervous about? Like, what is it that's, and then get some help and go after that area or those areas that scare you. Yeah. And then after a period of time, Dennis, the coolest thing is they just become who you are. Yeah, exactly. Right. And so down the road, when I said to Ray, you know, a number of years ago, I and mean, we stay, we'll stay in contact. He's such a great guy. And I asked him, is it you know difficult to go after rejections and he started laughing he goes i don't even recognize rejections anymore he said you know if it happens i'm just on to the next person I, yeah. I, i'm not hanging around and, and looking at how i was rejected i'm just going okay thanks and i move yeah. on isn't that awesome yeah that that's very awesome i have two things to go with that because i i think talking about coaching that's a great point david and, and you have awesome coaching programs i've and you make sure it's it's actually very easy for anybody to understand that. But also, you as a coach, it's important because every time, like in race situation, when you get that like, that little bit of uh, momentum going, that's when the devil comes in, smacks you right here. And if you don't have a coach in your corner to walk you through that, um, you know, it's just as easy to go two steps back. And that's why it's, I think it's important for coaching entrepreneurs, business leaders to have somebody who's like, hey, that's normal. That means that you're just getting stopped right before the next big step. That's and, right. That's right. I got a couple questions for you here. I know I've got off track because I'm so excited. But uh, <laughs> so what truly sets leaders apart from those who simply aspire to be best in their field? 
Well, number one is that the leaders are willing to do what Ray Higdon does. Uh, the, the leaders are willing to do the uncomfortable. Um, they don't bitch, whine, complain. They're not victims. They're not martyrs. You know, if, if things don't work the way that they want them to work, uh, they just pick it up and move on, you know, but they, but they're willing on a daily basis to challenge themselves. I think that's number one. Um, number two is that they surround themselves with people who are better than they are. Dennis, I cannot stress this enough. You know, when, when you look at, and here's an exercise that I give all my, my business clients that are our audience right now. Write down the list of people that you communicate with the most. It, I don't care if it's with by text every day or if it's phone once a month or, or if it's email every other week or you meet in person, it doesn't matter to me, but write down a list of every name that you hang around with. Then next to that list, put next to them, that person's name, if they are above you in any area of life. So you might have someone that's got a great body and you'd like to get a great body, you know, but their body rocked you person in your social or business circle. Um, maybe someone like my client that makes 10 million a year, you know, like he's in both of my, he's in my social circle and he's a client of mine. And I love to work with him because he is so successful. He's so kind. He's so humble. I learn from him as much or maybe even more than he learns from me. But, but we really want <clears throat> to, excuse me, ha make sure that the people around us have something that we don't. At least 50% of the people we communicate with regularly should have something more than we do. You know, maybe, maybe you wanna write a book and you, and you go ahead and you meet someone who's a best-selling author and you welcome them into your group. But, but you know, most people, when I do this exercise, Dennis, it's 90% are equal or below us right. and only 10%, you know, because why? Well, we feel a little threatened. We feel embarrassed that their body is rocking, you know. right? And, but, but that, I would say if we're looking at, you know, like number one, do the uncomfortable. Number two, surround yourself with people who have what you want. And then number three, a coach, a counselor, a trainer, uh, you, you, you've got to have a professional in your corner. You know, right now I have a business coach um, I have a counselor that I work with. Uh, the counselor is more for my emotional support and relationship support, right? right? And then my business coach, I mean, I just brought on a brand new one. Um, she is rocking my world. And it's so funny because people go, why would David Essel need a business coach? You know, like you coach these people do all the time. And I said, the same reason that Joe Cerulli wants a business coach as a multimillionaire, right? It's like, I want my feet held to the fire. Yeah. And, and the other thing I do, Dennis, that I think people that, that have a staff, we have a staff of 10, and I reach out to them, I would say probably every two to three weeks, and I ask them to give us feedback. I ask my 10 people, I say, hey, listen, here, here's the new program. I just created an outline, like tear it apart. You know, here, like what, what sucks about it? What's great about it? Give right. me your feedback, right? Here's a new ad we're going to run on social media. Tear it apart. You know, give us feedback. You know, and, and, and then, then now I have 10 people holding me accountable, Dennis. Right. So I've got my professionals that I pay, and then I've got my staff. And trust me, they're very free with their words when it comes to critiquing yeah, my stuff. As hard as it hurts, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, it's like like my business coach the other day. She is so sweet, but you know, we we were creating this new ad, and you know, there were like twenty things wrong with the ad. Seriously, there's twenty things. But she starts out with this: she and intention. I can feel from your ad is great. That was the positive. Now change everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your intention's good, but we're starting at zero. That's yeah. And we did, Dennis. Yeah. And she just threw it all out and said, come on now, we got to do this better, you know? And, you know, I, I, I love that. Yeah. I love that. You know, that's why I'm paying her, right? I mean, I, I want her expertise and, and I want my team to feel like they can give unadulterated responses and I'm not going to be hurt or upset. I really want to always do the best. And so the only way you can tell if you're doing the best is if you have outside feedback. Yeah. That's the only way you, if you trust your brain, Dennis, you know, this from my videos. Absolutely. <laughs> Never trust this damn That's thing. Right. That's right. You know, it'll tell you you're kicking ass when you're only working four hours a day. Yeah. It'll, It'll tell you that you're, you're, you're the greatest network marketer in the world when you're only putting in an hour a day in the network marketing, right? I mean, it will fool with you. Oh, yeah. It'll tell you whatever you want it to, right? <laughs> exactly. 
I got a couple more questions. I'm sorry. I could talk to you all day. Yeah. Is we don't have a time limit, but you probably do. So, <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if we've covered this yet. If you're an entrepreneur, it's important to change the way you think regular, why, regularly. Why is that? Yeah, well, it, it's the pattern of the subconscious mind. And, and really briefly, the conscious mind is the mind of intent. I'm going to watch Dennis's podcast or, or his, his program today. Um, this, that's the conscious mind. I'm going to get up tomorrow and go to the gym. That's all consciousness, right? Um, but what runs the show is the subconscious. And the subconscious is based on patterns. So whatever you feed it in on a regular basis, it accepts as real. Right. It doesn't matter if it's real or not. So if you say, gosh, I'm really nervous about this year financially, I don't know if I'm going to make the money, that becomes a pattern. And before we know it, we're repeating that pattern in our actions. Yeah. So we need to get out of our own way and be exposed to books and teachers and thoughts and, and daily boost and daily podcasts to challenge ourselves because once that subconscious gets a pattern set that I'm not a morning person, I'm not an evening person, I'm not creative, I'm not a salesperson, whatever it is, you know, you've got to shatter it, but you're not going to be able to shatter it alone. You need outside support. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. And just to touch on this again, can, can you explain the myth behind positive thinking that most people don't understand? Yeah, you know, and, and, a, and a great story. Um, the very first time that we were on Jenny McCarthy's show, and Jenny McCarthy has become, we've become BFFs. I mean, I think I've been on her show five or six times now, wow. Dennis, and she is just, she is gorgeous. She is smarter than a whip. She has um, a, an amazing sense of humor. But so TJ Toriello, my publicist, approached her and said, hey, uh, my client David Essel just came out with this brand new book. This was now like three, three years ago, four years ago. Positive thinking will never change your life. It's moving mountains. People are freaking out over it. And I'd love to have you on the show. So she wasn't quite sold, then, it's quite frankly, you know, because she was a huge fan of the secret and the law of attraction. So anyway, she relented. And I think it was because of her producer, Michelle, Michelle is such a realist that she doesn't like the secret and law of attraction because it's all this foo-foo, you know, right. whatever you throw out into the universe must return in kind. It's a bunch of crap. So anyway, I go on the show and Jenny says to me, okay, coming up next is we got this guy and she goes, boy, this is going to be interesting. He's written a book, positive thinking will never change your life. And I'm not sure I can agree with him, right. but, but David, welcome to the show. So we goofed around and laughed for a few minutes and then she said, okay, here it is. I'm going to give you three minutes, David. I'm going to shut up. The show is yours for three minutes. Convince me that positive thinking will not change one's life. And I went on, you know, and I, I gave stories and studies and examples. And the most basic one is this. If all it took was a thought process, there would be to, to heal. If it just was about your thinking, we would not have financial struggle. We would not, 70% of the US population is overweight or obese, 70%. If, if the mind was that powerful that you're gonna think yourself thin, have 70% of people overweight. All the people that are doing their vision boards and they're saying, I earn a million dollars a year, which by the way is $82,000 a month. There's a very tiny percent, about 2% of the U.S. population that earns a million dollars or 82000 a month or a million a year. It's about 2%, right? It is one of the greatest challenges in this world to earn a million dollars a year. You have to have outrageous drive, desire, talent, gifts. You've got to have it all, man. It just doesn't come easy, right? But these books say it does. And so we say, well, okay, if the secret and the law of attraction say all you need to do is put it out into the universe and it must return in kind, why do we have 70% of the U.S. population overweight? They don't want to be overweight. Right. Why do we only have 2% of the U.S. population earning a million dollars a year? 98% wants to earn that. Yeah. So if we have 70% of the U.S. population overweight that all want to be thinner, and we only have 2% of the population that earns a million dollars a year, yet 98% wants it, well, their desire should have already brought them the weight loss and the money. Right. It hasn't, and it won't. And the final example I give is this, Dennis. When I realized that I had a problem with alcohol and drugs, I went right to affirmations because I work in the world of personal growth. So what do we do, especially back in the 80s and even in the 70s? So I woke every day, up every day with this affirmation. I am David Essel, a child of God, happy, 
healthy and sober today. I said that for over 20 years, every day of my life, and I believed it, Dennis, and every night at eight o'clock, I started with my first bottle of wine. That proves I am a motivational guy. I'm well, this, you can do it. We can do it. They can do it. She can do it. Blah, 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 freaking blah. <laughs> With all of that motivation, it didn't do a thing to change my finances, my addictions, relationships. It never did a thing. So we say positive thinking is important. It will be about 20% of your success. If you have a great attitude every day and you do things with a great attitude, even those things you don't want to do, it'll account for about only 20% of your success. 80% of your success will come from doing the stuff you'd rather not do. Right. And if, you know, if you've ever heard of the bodybuilder, Rich Gaspari, um, Rich was one of the, the, and he's only like five, five or something. He was one of the first Mr. Olympia contestants that was really short. He was teased his whole life for being tiny and he became one of the most celebrated bodybuilders in the history of all time. Okay. Unbelievable. If you said to Rich, did you create that body via positive thinking? Right. <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> you <be> like, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, you, I, I, have a, I have a client that's one of the top trauma surgeons in the United States of America. I know that he went through 18 years of freaking schooling, okay? So if you, I go, hey, doc. Did you, are you rated as one of the top trauma surgeons because of the vision board you created 25 years ago? Is that what puts you over the top? To you know, of course, these people would laugh their butts off, right, Dennis? Yeah. Go, you, no, I spent 18 years in school, for God's sake, right? I mean, any success. In our, in our book, Focus, Slay Your Goals, I tell this amazing story about Evelyn Keeling, a friend of mine. Evelyn lost 240 pounds. Now, Evelyn's only five foot five, so she lost 240 pounds in her 40s and in her 50s, Dennis became a bodybuilder. Wow. She didn't, she didn't do that via affirmations and vision boards. Yeah. And you know, the thing that I love, when I picked up your book the first time, uh, the positive thinking one, and, and how you can't get there, but the book will, is, um, again, I've got it right here. Um, the thing that I love most about this is you're not saying be negative or, or don't and get rid of positive thinking. You're saying it's not enough. That's right. <laughs> And you have to understand it's not enough or you're not going to get to where you want to be. And it's right. the minute you come to realization with that is the minute your life's going to be changed. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, when you have a positive emotion, a positive thought, a positive affirmation, we know through one of my favorite organizations, heartmath.org, that there is a cascade of chemicals, dopamine, yep. serotonin, GABA, all these neurotransmitters are released into the bay. There's like this cascade and we feel great in the moment, right? But... The minute the moment goes, so does the endorphin rush. So we're not saying don't do it. Like in the book, we say the first hour of every day, I commit to meditation, journaling, prayer, uh, positive thinking, affirmations. My first hour is locked in in what we're talking about. And I never go back to it. They ask about, you know, doing stuff that I don't want to do. <laughs> and the end result is success. And yeah. anyone can do it. It's one of those things. It's like going to a great seminar. It's like your weight loss seminar you do, you, your workshop you do for people. Do it, that's great, and you feel great. You leave. Here's what's going to happen. But if you don't follow the steps that you've been given, that, yeah. right, you're, you're not going to do it. it. It doesn't end when you, when you walk out the door. That's just no. the beginning. That's the thing that's supposed to ignite what you're thinking you need to do, and you have to follow through with the program. Amen. And, and in the book, Positive Thinking Will Never Change Your Life, we go a step further and we say, go to your weekend seminar, go to your seven day intensive, do all that kind of stuff. But only if you have the money to hire a coach for 52 straight weeks after the event, yeah. because then you'll take what you learned and your coach will hold you accountable to actually doing it. You know, the, the, after a weekend seminar, the motivational passion, energy, endorphin rush lasts only about 72 hours. So people come back on Monday and they're in the gym at six o'clock and by Friday, they're, they're not back in the gym again. You know, right. it's that kind of thing, you know, and, and the way we, are, we get around it is by having accountability partners. Yeah. And I, I couldn't agree more with that because there's nothing worse than that phone call every week of saying, well, I, lo I, 
I didn't just let my, now you're just not letting yourself down. It's I let myself down, but also what I told you I was going to do, David, I didn't. That's right. that. So Thanks. that is the worst feeling in the world. And <laughs> you've been there. You know what I'm talking about. A ton of times. <laughs> yeah, and I would suggest everybody be there because now all of a sudden there's nowhere to turn or run. <laughs> now all of a sudden the mirror becomes an extra person. <laughs> exactly. So, um, well, the last thing I'll say is, uh, you know, You've helped uh, thousands of people create successful businesses. Obviously, you, you've helped other um, thousands of people resurrect their businesses, which is great when they were on the brink of failure. What can you say to those who are struggling with their businesses right now? What advice can you give? Well, the very first thing I'd say is write down, in all honesty, everything you're doing to push the business ahead. Like, write down in detail. You know, this is what I'm doing in marketing. This is what I'm doing in promotions. This is what I'm doing in advertising. This is what I'm doing in networking. You know, I'd break down the business into every area, and I'd write down the steps that you're doing in order to help that business grow. That's number one. Number two, if you're honest with yourself, you should see holes in your own program. Right. You could see, well, you know, I've said that I was going to network from nine to 10 every morning and I haven't been doing that. I've said that I'm going to start doing some social media work that, you know, posting more or advertising. And I haven't really done that that much. I said that I was going to start, you know, contacting prospects either via text or email or whatever it might be. But I, you know, I do one or two a day. I'm not doing like what Ray Higdon did 20 a day, 20 knows a day. So we just do a real honest evaluation, Dennis, is step one. Step two is look for the holes and start filling the holes. Now, this is where an accountability partner is going to be crucial. If we're not filling the holes in our plan to grow our business by ourselves, the odds are even watching you and I today, people may get excited for a couple of days, but they're going to fall back to the old subconscious pattern. So when you see the holes, hire someone. Yeah, share with them, honestly. Hey, I'm doing these three things great. I'm really not doing these two things at all. I need help with these two things. The two things that you're not doing well are the secrets to your success. That's what separates our program, Dennis, you mentioned it earlier, from 99.9% .9 of other counseling and coaching programs. When someone comes in and says, I want to earn a million dollars a year, I don't say, okay, let's start increasing income. I first look at what are your beliefs about money? And we spend a lot of time looking at beliefs, number one. Number two, what are our expenses that are unnecessary? We go nuts looking for unnecessary expenses to cut down. Right. Number, we don't even get to income until step three. You know, we don't even touch it. So find someone that will help you hold your feet to the fire, do the task you don't want to do. That's where your success lies. Yep. And I would encourage people, again, to go to, to get your daily boost and to show so they can see – they, okay, wait, if I do this daily, it's free. See how that's going to change your life in a week, two weeks. And now all of a sudden, okay, now it makes sense because people are always afraid of, well, the cost into it. No, take something simple of something that somebody's giving you so much knowledge and so much motivation for free. Take that, run with it, and then see how much that changes your life. Three to five minutes a day and how much that changes your life. I mean, I know I love watching it every day. And so yeah. uh, I highly encourage people to do that. So. That's, that's awesome, Dennis. And to sign up for the boost, just go to talkdavid.com, T-A-L-K-David.com, and you'll see a ton of free stuff there. You know, we have a free meditation audio program. Uh, we have a free lecture that we give away of me in front of 500 people that's an absolute blast just to listen to. Um, and then the daily boost, sign up Monday through Friday, you'll get a free video. And, and that will be that first jumping off point. And then the other thing I'm going to mention, and when you get the videos, you're going to see me saying this all the time. Every video you watch, do not trust this. Take little notes, you know? So like, here's the two points I got out of today's video with David. Then the next day, here's the one point I got, right? Like when you write things down, the retention rate increases dramatically. So don't trust that brain. And it's not even type them, it's write them. Write them, write, write them. them. Use your hand and write them, don't that's, type them. That's right, um, Dennis. Uh, also, I'm gonna mention that you have a, a life coach certification course available to people on your website. Uh, I've looked into it a bunch of times and you, you cater to everyone as far as that goes on your, and I'll let you talk about that in a second. And um, uh, there are more and more business owners sending their top employees to your life sort life coach certification. And again, you cater to everybody. You can do one-on-one, -on -one, you can do online, you can do, I mean, you do, and, um, and you can master yourself. You can go to different levels. Do you want to talk about that for a second? Yeah. I mean, you know, the cool thing, what you just said is we have um, a level one life coach course you can take 
um, and it's really inexpensive, you know, but you, you'll get the book, you'll get the manual, you'll get 10 hours of me actually teaching the very course. So that's one way to get your feet wet. Um, and then, you know, there's level one, two, and three. So to become a master certified life coach, you go through three levels. Some people love to take it one-on-one -on -one with me, Dennis, you know, with via Skype or phone from anywhere in the world. We, we've taken millions of people through this program. And then once they get through the three levels to become a master certified life coach, they can specialize in business coaching, relationship coaching, addiction recovery coaching, um, attitude coaching. You know, you, you can go in a thousand different directions in order to really specialize and get hyper focused on how you want to help the most people. Yeah. Well, I can't thank you enough, David, for giving this much of your time. Um, I could talk to you for hours and hopefully we do more segments in the future, but um, to anybody who's looking to improve their life, I highly, I highly suggest to check out David on his website, davidessel.com or talkdavid.com. Um, it, it's just, there's just so many things that you can do to improve your life. You're, you're such a mentor to me. I'm so excited uh, to meet you and, and to be able to talk on this show. And welcome to Shot Callers Magazine. Yeah. Oh, you know, Dennis, this has been an absolute blast. I, I so appreciate your enthusiasm for my work. I really mean that. It's, it's great. I'm honored, quite frankly, that you've been that, shared that much personally with your audience today about what I do and what you're doing. Um, I will come on any freaking time you want, dude. You just let TJ know, say, hey, we got an open, if someone cancels or something, hell yeah, throw me in, Dennis. We'll have a blast. <laughs> I absolutely. I just, I just love sharing. When somebody changes your life, you always want to be able to share that those people can sh change others, and that's your, yeah. your thing for it. Thank you, David. Awesome, Dennis. All right, we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye now.